In this video, I'll show you how to remove the Add to Cart button on your WooCommerce store without the use of a plugin. Let's get straight into it. On our store here, we've actually removed all instants of the Add to Cart button on a shop page as well as on the product page. So I'll show you how to achieve this using two different methods, which doesn't require the need of a plugin. All right. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, click the link in the description below for the code and let's get started. Okay. So the first method we're going to use is we're going to remove the add to cart button using code. So we'll navigate over to appearance and then theme editor. Currently I'm adding this code to my themes function.php file. You can add it to a code snippet it plugin or even the function.php file like I am doing here. If you do go for this method, I recommend doing it in a child theme. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link on screen to a video I'm explaining all of this. All right. So all we'll do is we'll just paste in the code. The link to the code is in the description below. All right. And then we'll just hit update. And then this should remove the add to cart button site wide. Before you add any line of code to your website, just make sure you create a backup. So let's view our shop page. And here you can see there's no instance of the add to cart button. So I'm going to remove this code and I'm going to show you how you can hide it via CSS. All right, so let's refresh this page again and we should see our add to cart button. Okay, so this time we're going to hide it via CSS. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this button here, click inspect. And all I'm looking for is either the class or the ID of this particular button so I can hide it. Okay, so let's see if we can find something all right so we've got a class here and then all we're going to do is click on customize and then additional css now i'm going to paste in a class name so we've got a few different class name here okay so i'm just going to use add to cart button because i feel this will cover um the variable product as well all right so i'm just going to put that since it's a class and then curly brackets close curly brackets and then i'm going to say display none okay Again, all the code that I've mentioned here will be in a link in the description below. All right, and here you can see it's actually removed our add to cart button. So this is working fine. So we can hit publish. All right, and let's view the product page as well. Let's double check that it's okay. So it is appearing on a product page. So we'll remove the product page add to cart button as well. All right, so let's click on this and we'll do the same. So we'll say inspect and we just need a class name, all right? Okay, and we've got a class name here. So here it says single add to cart. So let's copy this over. And now when we view the product page, we can see the add to cart button's been removed. And I'm seeing this because I'm using some extra um, payments plugin. We can do the same for this particular button, but we'll just leave it here for now. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in a comment box.